Hey guys, Captain Daggett here. We finally got a break in the weather. So, guess what? Buff and wax time. Uh, we got to bring this old oxidized gel coat back to looking nice and shiny and get that good reflection on there. However, I got to get the old lettering off. You can see it still says voila on the side of the boat and the boat's name is now going to be Puffin. And uh, yes, we're going to do the naming ceremony and keep all the gods of the sea happy and all that fun stuff. But today, we got to get this stuff off. Uh, so I'm going to go through what I do to get the lettering off. We've also got a cove stripe at the top that's in pretty rough shape and it's just a decal so that's going to get pulled off. We may replace it next year and then we're going to do the buffing and waxing. So uh, let's get to it. Take advantage of this weather. Alright, first off, goof off. In the can, the liquid, not the aerosol. This stuff is the only stuff that I found that will effectively take off all of the adhesive of the lettering or the stripes without uh, leaving a really heavy residue or cutting into your gel coat. There may be other materials that people or other chemicals that people use, but this is what I found works best. Now, you've got these plastic bit uh, blades, which are really nice if you have uh, the ability to use them and the stuff comes off properly. But on this one, we're gonna have to use a good old fashioned razor blade. Now, how I use these is you can oftentimes, if you're very careful, get that blade right between the vinyl and the glue and pull that stuff off and I'll show you what that looks like and then you just need terry cloth. Just a bunch of rags to wipe things down. That's what I use and that's what I'm going to use to take off this entire cove stripe and the lettering of voila. The remnants of the Tanzer 29 sticker uh, will get all that stuff off. And then from there we will get it all cleaned up and start the buffing and waxing. So. Let's get to removing this lettering. So first thing we gotta do is start getting this off. Now if you're real careful and go real slow, you can get that blade in between that glue and that lettering and get it started. Then what I'll do is stick it to the blade and use that to pull. And that can somewhat effectively do it on a warm day so you get to a break. So again, we're just gonna get it started. Slowly and carefully work it in there. Stick it to the blade and then pull at a 90 degree angle. That's it, a little bit of residue left, but it comes off pretty good. So I gotta do this whole entire thing. We'll get that all uh, off of there and then we'll get to the cone stripe. So removing this lettering is not something you can rush. You just gotta take your time and make sure that you go slow, you don't scrape the gel coat. Uh, if you're not confident using the metal blade, use the plastic blades, they work. Uh, when it's warm, sometimes you have to get a hair dryer, or a heat gun, not too hot. You don't wanna blister your gel coat, but heat that uh, vinyl up and it'll peel off a little bit better. I kind of like to not heat it if possible because that way the glue um, kind of comes off with the vinyl a little bit better in my experience. Uh, but take your time. Don't rush this part. It's going to take you a while to get the stuff off, but if you take your time, you're going to be glad you did. All right, so we got all the lettering off. Got that nasty stripe off the top. The back half wasn't too bad. The front half was original from 87. Took a while to get that off. Got all the glue clean. So now it's time to buff and wax. Now, there are a ton of videos on YouTube that you can go and watch of guys who know how to do this way better than I do. What I will say is, for what I'm using is a variable speed buffer. And I gotta use something that has a little bit more aggressive cut to it uh, because this has got quite a bit of oxidation. And let me show you the boot stripe. The boot stripe's pretty rough. So I'm gonna work on that first. And we're gonna try and knock that down and get it nice and shiny and clean. I'm gonna wash everything down. And then uh, we'll get started buffing this out. So I'm gonna use something very aggressive on this to get that chalk off the top and try and get down to good gel coat. And uh, we'll see what that looks like. 
So I'm using a 3M. Uh, this is a heavy cutting compound, and this is really going to get into that gel coat and uh, hopefully bring everything else out nice and uh, bright, and then we'll hit it with some polish afterwards. So after about eight or nine hours of buffing and waxing and working on trying to get the Coven boot stripes good, let me show you what we I'm actually pretty happy with the freeboard. That gel coat actually came out really nice. It's got good shine to it. Uh, it had some chalk and, uh, you know, but not too bad. The boot stripe, on the other hand, it, it's okay. You can see we still got some of this, but that's because we got paint over top of gel coat and uh, they just didn't get enough coats of paint on there and it's coming through and it's a little hard to get all that buffed out so but I'm happy with the results uh, for this year next season I'm probably gonna redo the bootstripe and the coat stripe uh, but now it's time to get our lettering on so I got some transom art I got the name and then uh, the Tanzer 29 labels are gonna go on the side so let's go ahead and get those on there and wrap up this haul sits for three years and it really wasn't taken care of before then as far as the haul goes it takes a little bit of work to get it but I'm pretty happy with the results let's take a look overall it's pretty good got that shine got the graphics on So the last thing before launch is bottom paint. We'll do that on the next one.